today is Friday. I'm 23 weeks pregnant. And um, it's been a very, uh, let's see, very stressful or rough Friday right now. Um, as you can hear, Weston is with me. I just dropped off Holden from for daycare. He had speech therapy. He did really good. Um, and now I have Weston. And I'll explain things later of why I have Weston. Um, I was supposed to work today. As you can see, I have my work uniform on. And yeah, and now I can't attend my shift. So I'll explain later when I get to my house. Hi guys, so we are back home. Um, it took us forever to get home because um, I took him to urgent care. Um, he is not feeling well today. So he's just gonna hang out with mommy and so I'll tell you guys um, what his diagnosis is, um, why he's sick. So I'm gonna feed him lunch and I'm gonna have something to eat because I haven't had breakfast yet. So I've been out all day and it's 1.18. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him lunch and then feed myself something to eat. So I'm just gonna hang out with Weston today. Yay! So I just fed Weston some oatmeal so I'm gonna give him a drink. He's not happy. I think I'm gonna put him to bed. Here, Weston. Weston, look. No, he doesn't want that either. Oh boy. I think I'm gonna just put him to bed. Come here. So I'm putting Weston to bed. He's already in his crib. I'm put the TV on. And then he'll probably go and take a nap. Even though he did take like short naps but I think he's really tired so I can't believe he's not feeling the greatest poor team and while he is taking a nap I'm going to <coughs> get some comfy clothes on and maybe make me some pancakes because I haven't had breakfast so that's what I'm gonna be doing and he likes Barney too, so I'm putting on his favorite show. Yeah. Say bye bye. All right, so I changed into comfy clothes. So the reason why Weston is home is because the daycare said that he had a fever of like a hundred and some, like a hundred point five, and then it went up to a hundred and one. Um, they checked his forehead when they got there and they thought it was the car. So they checked again, um, a couple minutes later and it went up. So when I was at Holden speech therapy, they called me saying, Hey, you got to come and pick up Weston because he is not feeling good. So I literally had a call out of work today because my shift was from 11 to 2:30. I actually volunteered to um, take that shift and because I wasn't supposed to work today and I wanted I needed more hours so I took the shift and now I had to call out because of Weston um, sometimes I'm like regretting now like maybe it was meant for me to not to work today but you know it's like i needed the hours at the same time because i need to have 20 hours but the 20 hours is i'm not getting it or even if i do get it and this happens it's like i'm not even making the 20 hours in the first place so it's just been very very hard um for my work for me to get 20 hours because I don't know each week. I like I don't know the future. Like I don't know what's gonna happen next week. Like they can give me 20 hours next week and who knows, I could call out for sickness of a child. Like like I don't know if they're gonna get sick or not, whatever. So I had to call out and then I took him to um, urgent care. I was gonna take him to his pediatrician 
but that was not going to be until 2.45. And I'm like, well, it, even if they do a COVID testing, like, I'm not going to get the results, like, right then and there. So if there were, to, if they were backed up. So I decided to go to urgent care just to make sure, you know, everything's okay. And so come to find out that he is okay. Um, he is negative for COVID. Thank God, because if he was positive, then I would have all the kids back at home again. So I do not want that to happen. So I'm glad that he's negative, but he has an up, um, upper respiratory um, infection, which just has to do with your, like, your throat and your nose and your ears. So it's all like up here. So they're giving him some antibiotics and we have to go pick it up later before I get the other kids because I'm only one person. I can't take all four kids to go get um, the medication. So before I get Hayden, we will have to go get his medication. So I'm glad that it's just that instead of COVID because that would have been way worse than anything. So that's why we are home. Um, so I'm gonna go eat my pancakes. Well, I'm gonna go make my pancakes actually. And then, I don't know what else we're going to do. Um, today, just hang out around the house until we'll pick up the medication and then go get the kids. Right now, he's chilling in his bed. And I'm going to leave him like that because I know he's been cranky. He was cranky at the urgent care. It was so difficult. Um, but I was going to film at the urgent care, but he was just not having it. And yeah. It was just a mess. So this is why I'm home. <laughs> so see you guys a little bit later. All right, guys. So I'm going to go wake up Weston because it is 4.43. I was supposed to get his medication, but I was letting him sleep because he really needs it. So maybe I'll just pick up his medication tomorrow because um, we got to go get Hayden. So let, let's see if he's awake. awake. Hi Weston. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Yeah, you had a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Huh? We gotta go change your diaper, huh? And then we gotta go get your brother. Yeah. All right. Hey guys, so I'm at Publix. I'm gonna see if I can do this all by myself. Take Hayden and Weston into Publix to get the medication. So, let's see how this works out. I'm gonna grab Hayden's wheelchair and, and I'm just gonna carry Weston. Wish me luck. Okay, so I just went in for the pharmacy and come to find out that they didn't have it and they changed it to a different location but they called David instead, and I did not know that they had it there, and it was already prepared there. And yeah, that's incredibly frustrating that he did not tell me that I had to pick it up at the other location. After I got Hayden in the wheelchair and I was carrying Weston. Like that is so frustrating to me. And now I gotta do it all over again at the different location. Oh my god. Like, that is just so frustrating to me, guys. So frustrating. But yeah, now I gotta go pick it up at the other. Hey guys, so it's the evening and Weston's in bed now because he was really tired. So I'm gonna end this video. I'm exhausted. I kind of don't feel the greatest. I feel kind of weird. So. I'm going to end this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. You want to say goodnight? No. Hold it. You guys say goodnight? No. Say goodnight. No. Okay, they're just being mean. All right. Bye, guys. No.